We are children of God. Forget what the world has told you. Forget the boxes we were put in. Forget any dollar, any title, any accomplishment that turns to dust that they stress so much. When we were young, they asked us funny questions. But now I will ask you all, not what you want to be, but what does God want you to be? True worship is full commitment to the Lord, not a feeling and not a music genre. Do you not know that our bodies are temples of the Holy Spirit? We are not our own. We were bought at a price. Therefore, honor God with your body. Now is not the time for desires and preferences. Everyone wants to know what we want to be. I want you to ask God who you are. What is your job? And I don't mean your occupation. Your job is not your income stream. I'm asking, what has God called you to? Our job is to do the will of the one who sent us. They say don't be scared of anything, but everybody fears something. How will your fear drive you? What are you willing to run from? What are you willing to run towards? Are you walking with God? Or just running from hell? We aren't who we used to be. While we once walked in the world seeking earthly things, we are now heavenly focused individuals. Seeking the Lord is not reserved for Sunday. We continually seek his presence. We walk in truth, righteousness, faith, readiness, salvation, and with the sword of the spirit. While guns and knives draw blood, our struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the powers of this dark world, and against the spiritual forces of evil and heavenly realms. Stand firm, for the spirit God gave us does not make us timid, but gives us power, love, and self-discipline. While we may get knocked down, drawn back, set up, betrayed, confused, disappointed, remember that we are redeemed. The victory is ours. Jesus overcame the world. So when you go out, be on your guard. Stand firm in the faith. Be courageous. Be strong. This is our anthem. We are soldiers now.